I'm going to be doing a demonstration today on how to lift a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Now, you'll notice that I've already gotten all the components that I need to do my lifting. I have as far as my jack, I have my, I have my safety stands, I've already placed my, jack, my safety stands at the rear and also at the front of the vehicle. I have my vehicle on a good solid level surface. I have my wheel chocks also at the front of the vehicle. First thing now I'm going to do here when, I, when it comes to lifting a rear wheel drive vehicle is I'm going to place the vehicle in neutral. I want the vehicle to be able to move so that as I lift it, the vehicle can move rather than the jack having to move. Because remember, the scissor style jack, we are going to end up having the jack is not going to come straight up, it's going to come up at an angle. So either the jack or the vehicle has to move. So in this case, we are just going to put the vehicle in neutral to make it easier for the vehicle to move rather than the jack. Now on this vehicle, it won't make any difference where we start at the rear of the vehicle or the front of the vehicle. On others, you need to make, that, make sure that you lift the correct end of the vehicle. For instance, if you're going to do uh, like the Mustang or the Firebird that we have in here, you would certainly want to start at the rear of that vehicle first rather than starting as far as at the front of that vehicle. But again, on this one, we could start either front or rear. So I'm going to go ahead now and put the vehicle in neutral. I just turned the key on, put the vehicle in neutral, and then I shut the key back off again so I don't drain the battery. Okay, my vehicle is now in neutral, and I'm ready to go ahead and lift the vehicle. For my lifting point on the back, I'm going to use the rear axle housing. Some of you might call it a pumpkin, okay, but it is the rear axle housing. For my support point, I'm also going to use the rear axle housing. Slide my jack in underneath the vehicle. Um, you're going to have to get down and kind of look at what you, look, what, what you were trying to jack on to make sure that you get the jack sitting correctly. We'll start by turning the handle clockwise to close the valve, then pump the handle up and down to raise the vehicle up to a comfortable working height. I've got my saddle where I want it, so now I'm going to go ahead and raise that up. Mr. Brown, you want to come down and kind of take a picture of this as we're doing this, please? Okay, I'm now in contact, and I'm going to go ahead now and pump the handle up and down. Remember, you don't have to go up way high with the jack handle, because on this particular jack, you only have about a 45 degree swing for the valve to operate. You'll notice now, gentlemen, that what's moving? Is the, is the truck moving or is the jack moving? The truck. The truck. That's why we don't want to chop the wheels right now. We want the truck to be able to move so that we can go ahead and keep the jack from having to move. Okay, it looks like it's probably about a good, a good height. I'm now ready to go ahead and place my safety stands. I'm going to place my safety stands on the axle housing. I want to go out as far as possible and in this case, I'm going to put it between the two U-bolts, right here. Raise my stand up. I'm going to go up about eight clicks, okay? And I'll do that on each side so I have the same height on my safety stand. You'll note that I put the, the handles outward to make it a little easier for me later when I go to lower the vehicle. And again, I'm going to go up eight. And again, try and center this on the axle housing. Now, before I lower the vehicle, I want to chalk those front wheels so that the car will come straight down onto my safety seat. The car comes straight down. So I'm going to move to the front of the vehicle and I'm going to chalk one set of wheels. All right, my wheels are now chalked. I'm ready now to lower the vehicle. I do that by turning the handle counterclockwise and bring it down slow onto the safety stand. Clear? Clear. That's to let people know I'm lowering the vehicle. A little too fast, okay? I closed the valve a little too tight on that one, okay? I let it down a little bit too fast. That happens from time to time. Though. Double check and make sure you have weight on the stands. And they look very good. They're sitting in the saddles, okay? And as far as I'm ready to go, I'm ready now to move to the front of the vehicle.
Let it down. And move around to the front of your vehicle. Now on the front, I'm going to use the front cross member and the lower control arms for my support points. Remember, right behind that lower, right behind that front cross member is the oil pan of the engine. You want to be very careful not, not to put your jack on that oil pan, because if you do, you will ruin an engine. If you happen to have a vehicle that has an aluminum oil pan, you will crack and break it. If you have one like on this that's just a stamped steel one, you'll push the uh, pan up into the oil pickup and you'll start the engine for oil and you will end up as far as damaging the engine. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead now, slide my jack under the, control, under the cross member, turn my handle to the right, clockwise, pump the handle up and down, and I've engaged that cross member. Now I'm ready to go ahead and raise it up to a comfortable working height. The intent is that I want to have it level, a level vehicle when I'm done. Now in this case, because the van can't move because it's on stands, you're going to notice that the jack is moving in. And that's why we want to have it on a good hard surface. If we would try to do this outdoors, this would not work well because of the fact that that jack would want to dig in. And then what's happening is that would be dragging across the cross member, the jack saddle, and we would be damaging the vehicle. I just want to double check and see if I'm level yet. Okay, I'm a little above level. That's, that's good. So I know now, okay, because I'm a little above level, where I can put my stands and then I can leave a little bit of a gap. Okay? So that looks very, very good. So now I'm going to put my stands on the lower control arms. I could also use the frame if I wanted to, okay? But the lower control arms make excellent support points. In this case, I'm going to use the control arms. Okay. I can use this area here or this area here. Okay? I'm going to go across the control arm like this. And again, I'm just going to come up one. That should give me right about where I want to be, so I'm going to end up being level. And I also have it kind of went across this, so I can catch this, uh, the spring mount in the, in the, in the uh, pocket here on the safety stand. You know, again, notice I left the handle outward, make it easier for me to go ahead and pull out later. Again, I'm going to go across the control arm. Again, I'm only going to go up one notch. And again, I have it just lined up so it's going to fit into the pocket. Now, I'm ready to lower the vehicle down. The control arm's going to move a little bit because they're on springs. The springs are supporting them. Okay, that's not unusual. All right? So, uh, notice, you may notice that the safety stand wants to slide a little bit. Okay? Because you're using the control arm, that's going to be normal. Okay, again, I want to lower the control arm. Hopefully, I'll be a little better than I was last time. And then I'll get it down a little bit slower. Okay, I had the valve a little too tight and I had to turn it a little bit too hard to let it down. Again, let people know you're lowering it by saying clear. Clear? Clear. Got it tight again. There it goes. Again, it was just a little too tight. I went it down a little faster than I'd like. Check your stands. I'm just going to take a look, see if I'm level. I'm a little high on the front, but not too bad. Check weight on your safety stands. I'm good. I've got all my safety stands on the ground. I can go ahead now and release my jack and pull my safety stands out. And I'd like to then, at this point, check the vehicle to make sure it looks like it's nice and stable. Okay? So again, I'm just going to give it a little shake. And again, we're in great shape. The vehicle, as far as it's nice and stable, we can do what we need to do. It's at a comfortable working height that you can get underneath it. Do most anything you're ready to do. Okay? Alright. To lower the vehicle, I'm kind of going to reverse my procedure. Remember, on this vehicle, it won't make any difference which end I let down first. Okay? I'm going to go ahead, as long as we're here, let's go ahead and let the front end down first. I'm going to take the wheel chocks out. 
for right now, even though I'm going to retrock the wheels, I'm tracking them out right now because I don't want them to get in. I don't want them to get in in, in my way when I'm lowering the vehicle. Okay. So again, bring your jack underneath using the cross member for our support point or our lifting point, I should say, and then we're going to go ahead and just kick it up high enough to get the safety stands clear. Turn the handle to the right. I'm going to not close the valve quite so tightly this time. I'm going to try anyways. This particular jack is very sensitive. And again, um, as I like to say, every jack has its own personality. You just got to get to know it. Some, as far as that goes, are, have a nicer personality than others. Okay, I'm in contact now with my cross member. A couple of pumps now, just to get them up off the safety stand. Okay, and I'm nice and clear. You see I've gotten it up, but I don't need to go way high. Okay, one or two pumps is more than enough. Just grab hold of the handle, pull down, and then get your safety stand out and away from the vehicle. We don't want them near the vehicle when we lower it, so we don't have a possible damage to the vehicle. Again, lift up, slide them out, get them away from the vehicle, and I'm now ready to go ahead and lower the vehicle on down down to the ground. Again, I'm going to take my time, lower it slowly. Let people know that you're bringing it down, because uh, it's got to pivot on those rear stands. We don't want to let it down too fast. Clear? Clear. There we go. Again, I didn't close the valve quite so tightly this time, and I have much more control over it. I closed it way too tight last time. Okay. Once it's down, I'll move my jack out. I'm going to now retract the wheels that are on the ground because I want it to come straight up and off those stands. So I'm just going to put my wheel trucks back in right now. One, two, and I'm ready to move around to the back of the vehicle. Take my jack. Again, I'm going to use my rear axle housing for my lifting point. Just I had used it as for my support point. Now remember, I got those safety stands out as far as I could on that axle housing, so I had a nice stable base. Turn the handle again. Again, I'm not going to close it too tight, so I have better control. Pump the handle up and down. Bring the jack then into contact with that axle housing. And again, we'll only go up one or two pumps. Okay, we're in contact. That's good. That's all I need to do. Just enough to clear. Again, I'm going to grab hold of the handle. Now watch your fingers, guys, so that you don't get near that, that jack head. Or the, safety, the head of the safety stand. Because if you do, you can get your fingers pinched really bad. And that hurts like the dickens. You know how I know that? I did it. And then as far as that goes, I set some expletives. expletives. Okay, like son of a guy. And that works like the dickens. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to go ahead, pull it out. I'll pull, drop it. Now before I lower the vehicle, I'm going to take as far as an unchalk those front wheels. Because now I want that truck to move. I didn't want it to move when I was taking it up and off the stands. But I, now I want it to move. Unchalk your wheels. And I'm ready to lower the vehicle down onto the floor. Again, let people know that you're lowering the vehicle by saying clear, clear. Again, let it down slow. Now, watch your, your plate here. This is going to want to push down on the handle. Okay, so be aware of that as the car comes down, it's going to do that. Clear? Let it down nice and slow. See how the truck moved that time? Okay? Pull your jack out. Last thing we need to do is put the vehicle back into park, okay, and put away our tools.